Hello. So welcome to the next video. In previous video, we just look at the portal Azure. That what kind of storage we had created here, and we also look at the instances from Databricks part where we can launch workspace and we can create the instances. Now I'm going to create different different parts different different illustration part for my databricks you can see here we had new where we can add and load data set here we had certain things which is relevant to the compute we also talk about compute resources in different way for example if i create this resource and i'm going to create this resource in a different way for example uh, uh restrict again personal computer power bi so i'm going to create this resource we using unrestricted way this would be multi multi node and for single user i'm going to select this one and for reducing my cost i'm going to create uncheck this use photon acceleration i'm going to keep this worker type as 1 to 4 and here i'm going to make it same as worker make this memory same as worker and i'm going to create this one same as key and everything here all right so i have just selected standard s3 v2 where we have 14 gb memory and four cores so you can see this is showing one driver 14 gb memory and four cores and four to 16 cores will be there in worker let's create it so it will take few uh, minutes or might be taking few seconds as well as well so i'm going to pause this video and then we'll replay this video so here i can click over here you can go back here on in azure portal here i can see this is the azure portal azure databricks part and inside this such in databricks i'm going to click on this manage resource group if you recall that we is kept this part as blank so i'm going to click on this link here can you see it's also showing different different virtual network different different smes different different uh, uh, network interface virtual network machine and everything is here so if i click on this virtual machine you can see currently this might be either on so you can see this is start and this is asking to restart everything these are configuration for my virtual machines you can see here this is showing virtual machine 4 and ram is 4 gb if you recall that if we had 4 gb this one you can see 4 gb cores and 4 cores and 14 gb memory the same configuration we can see here this is showing four virtual cb how many virtual cbs we had four this is also showing four cores what is the memory here this is memory showing 14 gb how many memory do we have we have 14 gb memory here this is the configuration almost same my worker now but still it's in 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 the running condition it's not running now this is the reason it's not showing that a start or restart option here because it's, it's not restarted here when i go back here inside this portal and click on this manage resource group meanwhile it's creating other resources as well for example more and more records and more and more types network interface public ip address manage identity everything is showing here virtual network everything is showing here which means it will cost me cumulative cost me for everything using this one four data bricks unit so i will be charged for everything here which we can show here so for these resources we can, i will have to pay okay as you can see my cluster is now being ready from your top here you can see this is green now now you can go back here click here add or upload data so i'm not going to add any data here but rather i'm going to upload a notebook here so just click on this notebook and just try to file and just try to import so i'm going to import or browse that file which is in my local machine it said my download sector section this is understanding notebook and markdown i'm going to open it and here you can see it's showing to upload 
So just upload it here and it will show all the content from my site. Can you see? I just uploaded everything here. This is showing everything, everything from my site. What kind of headings are there? So for, the, for this, if you want to see, this is the uh, percentage MD. For example, I'm going to make it here. But see, I'm going to make it a new section. You can see this is a new code here. So in this code, if I write percentage MD, which means now I'm going to convert this python by default python into markdown so this md is nothing but markdown so if i'm going to write triple hash heading three so what will happen if you will see this triple hash is there let's run this code can you see this is showing heading three so if i mark it heading new one run this code can you see it's showing first heading and if i go back here and now i'm going to write four hash and heading new two now i'm going to run this code can you see the size of this heading new two is now bit smaller than the previous one heading new one if i go back to the next part which is heading four heading new three so I'm going to display this heading new 3 which is the third heading here. Now I'm going to make another headings. For example, now I'm going to write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hashtags and give some space. And here I'm going to see heading new 4. Now it is having less side here. Right? This is how you can create multiple headings. What if I, I am going to copy this command and i'm going to create this heading using this seven hashtag will it show a new hashtag or smaller one let's create heading number five can you see it's not showing that is smaller so in if you dive right into the heading part or the hashtag here this is still six not the seven one this was the heading and the markdown part let's see commenting if you want to make comment inside the markdown you will have to create hash there hash inside the markdown and let's write such in saxena if you run this code you will find this would be the heading first heading if you want to write something relevant to the html code you can see this is the heading and i'm going to write code c and make it a new code and inside this new code i'm just writing percentage md first it's just converting into markdown and then i'm going to convert in html which would be the bold let's say this would be like a, a code with christy this would be my code first and if i want to asterisk code or i can make it bold so then i can mark it youtube channel all right so this would also the uh marked in right so what i'll do i'll write one dot can you see it will be first heading if i mark it two dot it would be second part if i run this code you can see html style will be there with code with christy and aesthetic style youtube channel will be there all right let's see how to make it as italics so you just go here and just make percentage md inside this percentage md you just write single percentage and just write another text which is dr sachin saxena and now i can write this as my name if you can run this code you can see this name would be in italic so but first for this you will have to make it percentage md first if you are not making it without, without this percentage md if you are going to run it so it's not going to run this code rather it's going to compile using Py python it will ask whether it is clustering it is going to cluster that part you're asking your compute cluster so this is gonna ask or connect your spark tool and this is wrong because this is a not any python code so everything is mismatched everything is collapse and chaos is created for this you will have to just make it markdown simply just markdown and you can see this is your name all right 
just delete this one and just run this code again okay so i'm going to delete everything and just write it down double hashtag dr sachin and then i write it my name and just run can you see it's simply my name in a italic fashion let's close it now i want to see this one is a hit this one is as the uh, bullets what i'll do i'll write percentage md and then i'll write first heading then i'll write hash and then we'll write second one then we'll go hash and then we'll write third one and just run can you see it's showing in a bullet format so to highlight something you want to show using the span style and background is equal to this one so you can see this is going gonna how to hide this one can you see this is going to hide this one all right if i want to click something so this is this would be my 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 uh, profile link or i want to see something here so what i'll do i'll write i'll copy this code here i'm just removing it here and just go for my linkedin profile and here i'm just copying that link here just go here and just copy this link and just paste this link here and just try to run this code can you see it's not showing anything because there might be some code okay let's go back and try to connect any images so let's search for such in Saxena if any image will be there and let's say this image copy open open image a new tab cut c and let's paste it here and try to run can you see this image is not showing here which is relevant to the code but what's the common mistakes here if you go back here inside this one if you make any space here it won't show that image it will be just hyperlink and simple link there if you want to see any any other text here inside this one you can see this would be search in saxena image and if you want to display that part so this would be such in saxena and this would be the link if you hover it and you will click and this one you will find this is the that will that kind of image is there now i'm going to click this on this one when you i want to perform this click on this profile pic so what's the difference between this code and this code this is including hashtag plus means exclam exclamation sign but this is not including this ex exclamation sign so just writing such in saxena profile this would be profile and just writing here this would be linked in profile all right i'm going to copy this part this link and delete it and just go back here copy this link and paste it here inside this parenthesis and again i am not going to make any space here in between and just run can you see this is showing such in success profile linkedin profile just click on it you can see this is opening my linkedin profile in a new tab so this is how you can create or you can insert some kind of link in your proof in your notebook databricks notebook you can insert any images you can insert any uh, highlight this part you can insert any bullets you can italic your code you can insert it html is styles using bold and italic you can insert your bold text you can create headings and you can create other part using markdown option thank you here you can see i had all these instances in my azure databricks instances resources and i have this field if i go back here in my portal azure databricks you can see inside this databricks i can see that launch workspace is there so it's allowing me to get into the databricks intra id using intra id and using that portal portal where we had this this work space now i'm going to click here inside this instance 
click on manage resource group you can see so many resource group are there virtual machine is there and so many other virtual machines are there virtual network is there virtual uh, network is there manager entity is there public ip address is there disk virtual machine is there right so virtual machine is there all right so i'm going to click this virtual machine and you can see it's going to restart or something here right so here i can see if i go back here in my compute resources you can see is it in start position yes if you can see this is in running condition if you simply stop it or simply stop this machine click here are you sure you want to terminate this one confirm this is going to terminate but this is not going to affect my virtual machine here if you can see this is not going to delete every resource here this is just a stop and not going to charge anything but it's still it's there all these instances will be there but what will what will i have to do if i do not want to occur any uh, any billing part uh, i do not want any billing here so i will delete this resource this compute resource and it's a deleting my cluster compute will be removed from this list after it has terminated and its configuration has been removed refresh it make sure you have deleted everything here now go back here and refresh this part as well you will find some of the resources are going to diminish they won't be here if you refresh that that you won't find everything here refresh from main tab also you will find something would be deleted here this may time some minutes but this certainly this will be deleted 